Under control. I mean, it's it's always a d difficult thing because you, my works are kind of at this. You know, it's always on the threshold of um, kind of achieving the right amount of fragility mm -hmm. and the stability that a exhibition runtime of three months needs. So it's you know, the fragility has a certain kind of quality, and right. so it's always for me like pretty painful kind of installing a work and. Um, getting to the point uh, and being sure that everything is stable and safe. I, mean, I have this background in computer science, so I said computer science was always, as a kid, the most kind of geeky kind of, of guy interested in technology and then Computer science is quite boring, and you, you start to think about like um, what's what's um, like it opens. It, it has a philosophical quality if you think about a computer uh, um, computer science. Like, um, what is computable? How do these machines generate a reality? And kind of, um, I found that super interesting. And then I kind of came across a, an art school that has this intersection between uh, art, technology, and media, and, and that totally got me this idea of um, not making applications that uh, uh, make life easier, but using kind of my technological knowledge kind of to dive into the machines and looking at these processes in detail and kind of finding like its poetic quality that's kind of inside the machines right. themselves. The, the problem is like if you, if you um, have this complex uh, yeah, uh, background in the work that it becomes diff difficult for people to perceive the whole idea. So that was really important for me to have like a um, like an initial moment when people see the work, there's like a uh, so like you you can you, you yeah there's a direct connection. Yeah. So you, you don't need to know everything yeah. in order kind of to 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 to, to, to comprehend and to have a, have a glimpse what it's about. Yeah, and um, and um, so so I, for me it's difficult like to to separate my works from each other and like mm. so. Um, <clears throat> so I did a lot of um, kinetic pieces uh, works where I tried to 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 zoom into these structures and these pro tiny processes inside the machines. And Mirage kind of stands out a little bit. It's it, it's a little bit it's kind of unique for my compared to my other works. And so the. Um, um, so it's, it's, you know, it's already it's it's so difficult to explain, and uh, there's usually like the the shortcut, um, which starts basically with me explaining a little bit the the technical the construction, what's happening. So I was interested in how how the the, the virtual kind of uh, leaps into the real into the world. So, and in this case, I'm using a, a sheet of mirror. And create um, or manipulate the shape of the mirror with a lot of different uh, little actors, and by projecting a, a laser line on the on the mirror, the um, the light is kind of uh, um, um, how you call it uh, refracted, just in fractions of a degree, and kind of create. Um, the three D landscape like mm -hmm. projection, and so that so for me the image became kind of the the, the place or the, the the point where kind of this kind of the the, the virtual kind of 
transforms, becomes, becomes, becomes physical. Sure, like if, uh, in, a, in a metaphorical sense, kind of, yeah. Yeah, from, from the geomagnetic field. So the, for me, it's always uh, what, what I'm interested in. Like, if you are in, in the, the pure digital realm, there is no chance in it. So it's all, even if you have randomness in the computer, it's all pseudo, it's computed. Like, and so in order kind of to expose my machines to kind of to the world, I use different kind of sensors to, to, to register the, the noisiness around the, the machine. And in this case, it's the magnetic field of the Earth, which is kind of, you have the geodynamic effect of the Earth that creates this constant, uh, pretty static electro, uh, magnetic field. Um, and then this magnetic field of the Earth is also interacting with the sun, with the sun activity. So it's a constantly minimal fluctuations uh, in the signal. So it, it's not, not a um, translation in the classic, okay, that you can see in the projection, okay, this is, means this or this. Right. It's just like it's, it's um, mm, inf influencing, influencing. influencing the process yeah. by right. st statistically looking at changes and right. based on that it's kind of creating some kind of hallucination right. that kind of... Uh, Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I I I, um, I remember uh, um, f reading. Um, so I, I was there. Were two two different things comes together: this metaphor of of the dream, and the, or the or the hallucination of the machine, and so and the magnetic field. If you put that together, mm. in in Google, you come across papers that say that uh, the magnetic field has influence on our dreams. Kind of that there's kind of if the sun activity is higher, the magnetic field is more fluctuating, and then you have weirder yeah. dreams. And I'm not sure, I'm not, uh, not a, 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 a biologist or a medicine psychologist, psychologist to, uh, to, 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 to decipher these papers, but I found that uh, kind of that there's kind of this constant um, um, energy. Or that kind of runs through us and through also through our perception or, or, or through our brain and kind of um, so the, so so that's the, the bigger question the brain as if you there was like in the 40s when the brain is a computer which is something that we, we probably don't believe in um, but that there is or if you believe or that there's a, a machine that that our brain is also kind of influenced. Not only uh, it's not only a rational machine, but it's a machine that's kind of constantly uh, immersed into mm -hmm. the noise of something. Yeah. I mean, that's maybe goes too far, but. Uh. <laughs>